What's going on, guys? It's Gold Metal Mouth 06 here with another episode of Quest for the Golden Creeper Season 2 The Rebirth. Episode 21. 21. 21. We do not make fun of the number 21 in this household. Oh, interesting. I did not know that was there. So, anyways, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, it's been a while. I did a lot off camera, and we're gonna be doing a lot in this episode today. And oh, ah, creeper in my house! Creeper in my house! Take that, you suck! I need to get the floor lit up, but I don't, the only way I'm gonna be able to do that is if I go find a blasted guardian temple. So we'll probably do that soon, hopefully. But we'll need to get our couple first couple projects done. So. Anyways, I'll show you what I just got finished up doing not too long ago. Main premise of it, I got the slime chunk all digged out. So, let's go show you right now. That's, we're probably going to have to cut that river off just a little bit to make a path look easier, but I need to fix that. It's all done. It's nice and cleared out. They have enough room to fall down and such. And... I need to get some glass because I made another ladder too, so I think I have some sand I can smell up. Uh, or if I have some glass. I probably have some glass over at the Villager Trading Center. But we did a lot of work over there too. I got everything. I got rails installed to transport the villagers. I got the villagers down in an area for we can transport the villagers. And what am I looking for? Oh, yes. And we also got... We got a lot done over there. We got all the water in. Ah, they still spawn up here. I'm probably gonna have to figure out something. I need to get those chickens out of this area. It causes so much lag, so I'm gonna need to move them from over there. But it's kind of nice. So, right now we're actually gonna be using some magma blocks because we're gonna go finish up part of our work on the slime farm. Right now, I shall show you right now let's go down there and see i gonna not be able to finish it because i'm gonna need to get some more rails for it but i can get it as close to done as i can possible so let's just get these buggers out of the way over there thing you can tell though i think the lag is a, yeah because it's kind of lagging getting oh that's a that's a butt ton of creepers over there, and we can actually see that over here. Let's go, MLG Pro and MLG. Dang it. <sighs> That's what I hate. Something. Dang it! I didn't get glass. Gosh dang it! That's sometimes the one things you really dislike about Minecraft. Sometimes it's that right there. So what we're gonna be doing is. I was originally just going to have the slimes drown, but then, oh, gee, dang it, but then I, at least magma blocks are easy to break, then I realized, recent people, I watched the video, and it's like, oh yeah, you can kill things with magma blocks now, that's like the, the way to go to kill them, so we're going to be making our killing area out of magma blocks right here, we're not going to be, we're making it level, with this area and i'll explain why in a bit but we're gonna be making it level with the last floor and such slimes will spawn down under here so i'll have to figure out a way to make sure i'll pro i'll end up slime proofing it because this will be i'm gonna have some hopper mine carts uh uh going around to pick up the pick up the uh items and such, but the reason we're gonna be see it like right now, it do just spawned unless that fell. I'm not quite sure if it did, but I've gotten a lot of slime while I've just dug this out from being around in this area with a looting sword. It's incredible, and it gives a decent amount of XP. But yeah, I've had to go several trips to repair my uh, silk touch pick with XP, so I don't think I'm gonna have enough. So the magma blocks will kill the slime no matter what. And to make sure that this happens, every level we're gonna... We, we need some iron for this. Slimes, uh... 
AI are attracted to iron golems, like most of the mobs in the game. They will attack iron golems now. They have for a while, I think in 1.8. I think they might have changed it a little bit in 1.9. I don't think, I'm not sure though, but I don't, uh, yeah, I'm really not sure. But that's one way to actually get slimes to jump off into your little, to fall. Uh, it was tested, Azumavoy did test this with Iron Golems. He doesn't, can't remember what, what was the outcome if it truly does increase per performance of killing off slimes. But it, to me, it doesn't really matter. It's just good. So in for all the four corners, I'm probably going to dig out a little area and just put an iron golem in it. The iron golem's not going to be able to escape, but the slimes are going to be able to see the iron golem and go to and try and hop towards the iron golem. Ergo, they will end up falling off because their AI is uh, AI doesn't their AI doesn't recognize falls. So that's will be good there. Underneath here, we'll get some rails. Probably powered rails for sure. Maybe, yeah, most likely powered rails because it's going to fill up the slime pretty quickly. And they're going to fall down. You're going to die. And it's going to kill all of them, too. And to make sure that they don't, like, just uh, move away from this area, I'm going to... An iron golem is pretty much going to be within... Um, they can almost pretty much get the iron golem. So that's going to be how they kill it right there. So, okay, so we just need a little more. I can get some glass melting up. And there will be rings of uh, hopper mine, mine carts with hoppers. Oh, probably just one, because I have enough room under there to do some fancy, fancy schmancy things. I need to get some uh, jack o' lanterns too, because jack o' lanterns. Uh, slimes will spawn in jack-o'-lanterns, but they will keep other hostile mobs from spawning in that area, so. I should actually sleep to make it. Oh, some gunpowder's right here, so let's take that. And the hopper mine character will just pick up the slime and dispense it into a system, most likely. It will dispense it into, I don't know what kind of, a system... And there will be a there will be an elevator somewhere, and the where those I need to actually uh, dang it. Uh, I need to actually oh what's the word I'm looking for I need to move some of the items out of those chests down there I have a, a lot of storage but where are my chests are because I didn't want to it was too much of a hassle. <laughs> In all honesty, to go back and forth to get stuff, to uh, transfer the items, sell the items, but I'm pretty much going to be doing that in one big old run. Let me sleep, I don't know why I'm not sleeping. And such. Let's go up. Oh yeah, I also got uh, the animals, the sheep, the cow, and the bunny rabbits. I need to get pigs down underneath, so we have some little farms down there for us. So we are good in that aspect. So if we need wool, we can get wool. If we need beef and leather, we can get beef and leather. Eventually, we'll get pork chops. So let's go water bucket MLG Pro stats right here. And dang it. Not again. Oh, oh yeah. See how they died? You see that right there? They died? That's good. That's good for us. Oh, there came the water. And let's go and do it like here. Uh, I was, I actually changed my mind right before, right as I was doing this. I realized it's, I can't, it's going to be too hard to put the rails down. So that's why it's also up one level. Because that's going to be too much of a hassle for me. Dang it, I didn't get the glass. Why don't you guys remind me? Gosh dang it. Uh, it's going to be... I was going to have a system where water would just pour the slime off of it. Into some hopper system. But I think that's a little too complicated. And it might not be. I might test it in another world. I think my sound just cut out. Interesting, so... Yeah, I think my sound is cut out. I don't know if it cut out for the video, so I'm going to have to check on that in just a minute. So, actually, I'm going to check on that really quick, guys, and get this really quick done. I don't know, I don't know what that was with the sound, but I got it I got it fixed. So, uh, here's all the slime we've got from our experience down here. Here's the chest. So, 
Probably what's going to happen is this is going to be our little storage area, and I'm just going to dig in, put an item, a dropper, an item dropper elevator, an a item elevator, a dropper item elevator, there we go. And it's just going to take them up, and then it's going to put them in the chest, and there's going to be like a couple, probably only three, because I don't think we're going to get a lot of slime in... In like an overnight AFK session or something like that. And anyways, it will be always running while I'm in the area. So that's one of those things that are like, okay, that's nice, that's nice. And things like that. So let's go up here and put everything back. And then we're going to travel on over to the new village area before I can show you what we did. And such. So we will be continue work on, well, we almost have a full dub chest of that. That's impressive. Oh, not full up chest, full half chest. So we already have a lot of slime for anything we need, so I also need to make some pistons and such. And for those wondering, this is important because we need to get the Iron Titan working uh, for the villager area. And to do that, we need to get name tags because I don't want... Because I'm going to eventually make a um, passive mob farm, and I don't want... The passive mobs, the chickens that we'll be using for specific reason to keep the uh, area villagers from merging the villages with a nether portal, from loading, unloading the, what's the word, from, from taking up the passive mob cap because passive mobs in your spawn chunks actually affects the whole entire world because it's a spawn chunk. So, anyways. That's why we need a villagers, because I need to find a villager with a really good name tag trade, and then I need to also be able to get emeralds, and that's why we're also working on the slime chunk a little bit, because the slime chunk, uh, soon enough, will become our little area where I build a carrot, I, I build carrots, potatoes, and a wheat farm. So the, the wheat farm is probably going to be on the bottom level. Most likely. So, that's... Yeah. The wheat farm might not go there. Uh, no, nah, I'll probably do it. I'll just have to make it a little different from other the other things. Because... Wheat farm needs... You can do it in other ways. I might... Yeah, I don't know. And I ended up... This ended up... This ended up burning down because there's lava right here that I exposed, and it all burnt down. But all the villagers went down in this little hole right there. So, yeah, it was that one little lava spot that just wrecked everything. Oh yeah, that's my little tree farm right over there for to make sure I don't get massive trees with this. So, as it was, you can see there's water in every single one now. So it is a little. It's an elevator in a sense. To bring everything up, so let's go down here. We still have some work to do on it before we get anything in. So we got one guy down here to test to see if it works. Here's what it all looks like. Activate a rail style. Pop them out. We need to get some more iron to put buckets of water in this actual dispensers to just pop them up. For they just float on up and such. It will destroy the rail, but that's not too bad. Just button right here. You click it. The trap door will go up, but then I'll click it again to take the water out, and then it, they'll shoot up. I think. I hope it works. I'm not sure though. We'll see. Hi. How you doing? So we got a lot of stuff in here. We got some redstone. I need to take these torches, and then um, uh, get that too, and probably take the wood. Dang it! The audio. Did they auto cut out? No. Okay, good. I don't... Did they auto... No. Oh, you didn't cut. So, here's what we're doing over here. I'm not going to do it because that guy's right there. This is our little underground area that I dug out. And it's for the redstone circuitry we're going to be doing. And it's just so that I can get all the villagers in their respectable areas. Activate the activator rails all at once. So that all the villagers pop out of the minecarts. And I don't have to worry about anything... Uh, having to break it because activator rails. I didn't know this, but activator rails push entities out of minecarts. So that is good right there. So I'm gonna be doing this a little bit. I'm thinking I didn't grab any more redstone, so I have to head back home. Anyway, so I'm gonna be putting all the torches down, guys, and then we'll be doing a little bit more redstone down here, and it will be fun. It will be fun. So I'm gonna get 
a lot of this redstone circuitry down right here and we'll continue on from there so i'll see you guys back here once i can finish all this up this is going to be a tedious task i can already tell Oh, I too, so much redstone, and still we need so much more, so, this is what we've got done, I've also died again, off camera, as you can see by my levels, it was, I came over here without the, uh, I'm actually gonna show you guys this, uh, the villager area, this if villager thing is causing a ton of lag, because they're all in a small space, and it's causing a ton of lag. Like I can shoot an arrow and it just like, ugh, it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't make sense because I pulled it back all the way. So here's all the villagers. Some of them are being pushed up. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And there goes one. That's how laggy it is. Like it's not, it's, it's client lag, but I think it's world lag because it's it can't handle it. Cause my FPS is fine, but this guy's moving pretty slow, I would assume. So we have another one. We're probably gonna get rid of most of the villagers, butchers especially, clerics maybe. We'll probably keep a couple clerics because we're gonna get a lot of. Once we have a gold farm, rotten flesh will be like. Why didn't that stop? Come on. Because the guy is moving. It's really annoying. So I need to break that really quick. Oh my gosh, so much lag. I don't know why. The villager is just moving. And I don't understand why he's moving. So I actually need that glass for later. So I'm going to head back home really quick, guys. And I need to go get some redstone. Just wanted to update you on what we are doing. How much progress we've got done. So it's not even nighttime. Why is he moving? So see you guys then. Okay, guys, we did it. We got all the redstone laid out. It's simple redstone, not too complicated at all, so we don't have to worry about me doing, like, explanation. All I did was I connected redstone up to a torch, inverted the power with the redstone torch to turn the torches off, use, use repeaters to extend the signal a little bit so that when I flick the lever, activator rails turn on and pop villagers out. So not anything too complicated at all. So... Let's fix that right here. There's so much lag. Let's fix... Let's fix this. Dang, now I need to break that then. You can tell there's so much lag because there's tons of block lag. Gosh dang it! There we go. Okay. That's fixed. I'll put that down later once I need to move them. Okay, so. Whew. Now I think. Oh! We're gonna just transfer them. I do think we're gonna do that right now. So let's get. Let's push this guy. Get on a. Come on. Get what? He's not in a, the minecart. Uh, hold on. My gosh, lag. I'm gonna kill this guy, guys, because I don't need him. Frankly, he's a butcher. He's useless to me. So let's just get get a rail. I don't have any rails, really. Let's put it away. Put it away right here. And let's just throw him on. Right. Hold on, guys. I need to save and quit because I think they're in the minecart, but I don't know. Let's turn that on. It's just so much lag because of the dang villagers. Yeah, he's in the minecart, so I killed that guy for no apparent reason. So let's get him. Let's get him in. Come on. Go on. Get in there. Get. Go. And he's in. So let's test if it works. <sighs> okay. Uh, what? What's his trades? I don't think they're good at all. So I'm sorry. See? Oh my gosh. 
This is so laggy. Okay, so that's good and right there, so. I did not foresee this happening. So, and actuality we need to place down more glass ah the buttons right there ah. okay i'll be back guys i need to fix a couple things get this working i'm gonna put get the villagers some of the villagers migrated and show you the last couple and then we'll Continue from here. I don't need to put the. I can put it on the dispenser, but the, the rails are by the dispenser. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's been a while since I recorded the last clip. I got a lot done. I had to fix a lot of things, but I still need to fix a little things. I need to get some more glass, but it works. I had to replace some of the water things up, up on the roof because I had a flowing current downwards that ended up, that was killing them blah, blah blah I replaced some signs ladders with some signs and then I found this while doing this and it spawned right in it, I didn't see it and then it kind of didn't really freak me out but it, it I wish I caught it on camera but I wasn't required what the lightning striked and I got this I got a skeleton trap Oh, and it's still so much dang lag. It's so annoying. Like, arrows don't work. There we go. And he's probably dead down there. I don't know. But arrows do not work with so much entity lag coming from the blasted villagers. So I'm trying to get this moving and grooving a little bit, and I'll show you what I'm did doing. So, let's see, go and see if this actually works. I haven't tested it in mass, but it seems like they do go to where they want to go. That didn't sound right. It seems that they go into the slots that I have right here. These, This one's alive, so I need to get one in here. I need to get one in here. I pretty much need to get... Oh, I'll fill the whole thing up. Let's just let's show us the quickest one. Do this. And X. X. And X. And there we go. So let's try this. So I need to get the first two, and I need to get a couple more. So let's actually, actually just change these settings right here, and then change it like that. So, cause they went up. Sometimes they hop up. Sometimes they don't. So it's really weird on how it works. <laughs> But lag is just killing me, guys. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to put all these villagers in here, so I'm just gonna be picking and choosing which ones uh, live, which ones die, basically. So there's one, and there's two, and, and one more, and three. So we get them moving around right here. Eat. It's hard to eat. Like, see how bad, bad this lag is? It's not frame rate lag, because the frame rate it's a decent. Not too bad because I'm recording, but it's usually at like 60 frames. And it still does the same thing. And you that doesn't happen at 60 frames. That kind of lag does not happen at 60 frames. Dang it. And, okay, they're in. Let's pop them up. Oh dear. Gosh dang it. Ah, it didn't turn it off. That's why that happened. So let's... Let's break that right there. Come on. Okay. And push you in. There we go. Okay, so he's in. Let's go see if they got taken up. Boy, so... I'm probably gonna leave the minecarts in though. Now that I think about it, it's just I'm gonna do a weather clear, guys, really quick. Weather clear. I was also testing some things. That's why there's some things in the chat because the rain is also ripping my FPS. So let's actually see. Are they coming at mode three? Just need to make sure that they're coming up. Oh, so. What? 
Oh my gosh. Really? Is it because they're ladders that this is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's it. I cannot fix this regularly, guys. I kind of did use... To get some of this done, I did try and speed it up. So I did use some commands to help me with this, because this is just pissing me off. This is pissing me off so much. I thought ladders would be fine, but ladders have a hitbox, which keeps the entities from coming up and such. So I'm just going to probably be... I'm going to really quick... I'll be back, guys. I need to... Because I thought this was... Oh, my gosh. I'm really ticked off right now. So, I'll be back, and I'm going to get this freaking thing done because this is so stupid. Okay, I'll be back. Sorry. <laughs> hey, guys. I... You don't know how much I've suffered. How much I freaking suffered doing this. I'm not even done. This is, I, like, I th I'm going to end the episode off, like, here. Because this is taking too freaking long. Too freaking long. This, it's, tr it's just ridiculous, guys. I hate this so much. I'm, I'm like, done. This is, like... I didn't think this would be this hard, but it is because villagers are stupid and minecarts are. It's it's so dumb. I'm like, I'll, I'll show you. I've been to speed it up. I fixed the thing with game mode. I replaced all the ladders with fence gates and opened the fence gates because apparent because of hitboxes. This is why it it's frustrating to me because hitboxes are the reason that this is all an issue. I'll explain in a minute why. I hope I. Like, I barely dented these guys either. There's, like, oh, still over 200 of them. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to just fill up that area. And uh, the probability is I'm just going to fill it up because I'm not going to use this. This is, like, this is horrible. I, I, I did a big mistake. I thought I could make my own little trading, trading thing. Uh, I can't. So, that's the problem. I've been doing this in game mode. Dang it, I hope that didn't just take a villager. I've been doing this in game mode to speed it up to. Just so I could fly back, get a lot more villagers at one time. And just, like, all the rails here, I'm just getting rid of. Like, most of them, I think I'm just going to pick most of them up. All the powered rails I'm getting rid of. Except for, like, maybe 12. But I am just livid, guys. I do not, I hate... How 1.9 updated hitbox mechanics now. I just hate it. Because it's so stupid. Because every... And the, what's dumb is the villagers in the minecarts are moving the minecarts. And I can't let them sit in the slots. They have to pop out. Or sometimes they just move out of it for some odd reason. And I don't know why. Because I do know villagers can move minecarts. Like all other mods... Mobs. But why? It's... It's not doing anything. It's not. It doesn't need to move. It's just. It doesn't make any sense to me. And it's like. It's really pissing me off. And then like. Some don't go in the slots. And I try and push it. And because of the hitboxes. If I go too far forward. It pushes it backwards. Even though I'm moving forward. And ca pushing it forward with momentum. It just gets pushed backwards. And then if I try and do a couple villagers. They come all out. And they just push each other around. It's just. It's just so dumb, the hitbox mechanics. I was, I literally just was screaming yesterday. I was like, I was so mad, guys. I just stopped, and I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. This is dumb. So, I am going to finish it. But, I'm going to finish it by freaking just filling it all up. There's a couple good villagers that I might just move out of the place into an actual better storage system. There's one on there's one on YouTube. I don't know who the guy what what's the name of the guy who made it. That that sounded weird. I don't know the name of the person who made it. So I'll probably be doing his tutorial because 
It was so much simpler. This was so. This is just so dumb. And such. And yeah, I like. I like my concept of it, but it's just. This would have been so much easier in 1.8. So much easier in 1.1.8. 1. Just because the villagers don't move badly. What I'm probably gonna do here, in all honesty, is. I'm probably gonna make these all librarians and leave a few good farmers here because that's how what I have so far. That's what that's the only good things that have happened so far. And I've been using lever it's just it's too small down here too to just get them in. It's it's ridiculous. And I'm honestly just I'm uh, like I'm really peeved off right now, guys. I don't think you can quite understand it's just it's annoying and it shouldn't be this hard and i want mojang now to rework the blasted it's not hitbox mechanics it's the unit collision mechanics they need to rework it a little bit and maybe make it so that not everything does it like minecart shouldn't do that because that's ridiculous why do you want minecarts to be hitting each other I, d I don't think minecart should be able to bump each other. They should just be able to flow. And that, to me, that doesn't make any form of sense. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Making sure I'm recording. So, this is probably going to go on just a little longer. But, I th to me, it doesn't make any sense why the hitbox mechanic should be the way it is. Because it's, it's, it cause it's literally causing more problems than it should. Because, why should it... Like, it causes way more problems than I can, like, it should, in all honesty. And that's what's annoying me. And such. And I didn't, also, the reason why this is so inefficient is because I didn't think about it too much on how to do this. So it's kind of my bad, but anyways, I'll just, I'll deal with it. I built it. I'm not, it's, I built it, it's my, it's my fault that I built it. I just need to get a villager with good name tags. And that's why I'm probably going to get rid of, I've, like, let's look at the stats. How many villagers have I killed? And I don't, uh, villagers should be on the bottom. I've killed already 35 villagers, because I just am so, like, every, every time a villager would get stuck, uh, it, it would just, it would make me mad, and, it would really, honestly, make me mad. So what I'm probably gonna do is, I'm not gonna kill any more of them, like regularly. I'm probably gonna just use in game mode, just get the zombies to kill it, cause that's a little, that's a little faster. They change them, they change the villagers. I'll look at some of the trades and like farmers. Like I hate it because the farmers, sheep herders, fishermen, and Fletchers are so much so much more common than actual regular farmers and that's annoying because it takes so long like I have a, f a few farmers that I'm gonna keep and probably move out and transfer all the way back to my the slime chunk outside my farm to be able to actually probably the sheep herders and all those and then the farmers actually the ones that are actually real farmers I'm probably just gonna uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The actual farmers, I'm probably just gonna uh, store in my house somewhere and use them to trade for emeralds with wheat, carrots, and potatoes, basically. And things like that. So that's probably what's gonna happen there, but I just have to move them, and it's gonna be a, a ridiculously hard task to move them, but I think I can do it. I will do it, but right now. The only reason why I'm still doing this is because I need to get a freaking, I need to get a blasted, what's the word I'm looking for? I need to get a new good name tag trade. And there's still a lot of librarians most likely, and such, like, and guys like that. So that's just the problem I'm having right now. And there's just so much more to do, and this is just... I've been doing this in game mode. This has been going slow, but in game mode, it's still slow. I could get three at a time, at most, but it's still freaking slow and such. So I'm just going to go on for just a little longer. I'm going to go for about two more of these guys 
and then I'm ending the episode and such. The weaponsmith, though, and armors we're also gonna keep for a little bit, I think. And actually, honestly, I don't honestly care. I'm probably gonna make somewhere by my house another one of these because this is just ridiculous. And I can, I can, on all honesty, I can transfer any of the villagers to my actual base that I I want. Transfer them to my base and things like that. But this has just been the other one. It's not that hard of a design. It just uses powered rails, trap doors, and things like that. And I don't have the iron necessary yet because the iron titan's not up. But this is this is the only reason why I'm keeping going because I want the freaking iron titan. That's all I want. That's all I want. I I hate butchers too. So I I will make another system, guys. I'm like I was so excited for this to get to work, and then this turned out to be crud. Basically, this is just crud, 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 complete crud. So one more, and then I'm done. And crud, but. The minecarts, making all these minecarts, it doesn't really matter because we will be using them because that's how it's gonna. That's how the other villagers get transferred. So one more. But I'm just, I'm, I'm not happy, guys. I, this, this has caused so much more time and effort. And I'll just use the design on YouTube that the guy has. I'll find it, and it, it will, it works perfectly. And it just is so much easier on my life. And I'll get this done later, but this is going to be the end of the episode. So, uh, let's just... Oh, I caught up to this guy. That's a first. I've never done that. Never meant So he goes in, activator rails, push him up. And sometimes they got literally stuck in the blasted block and died. So let's just go up and show you how many villagers we actually have up there. I have an ending villager, so I'm happy about that that and that's only that's really only the good only good news about this entire uh extravagant i have a mending villager and that's nice so here's all the villagers oh jeez here's the here they all are i got still all that to go along with all this to go we got so many in here this is taking hours upon hours and hours and hours and hours and then I have to break the pistons or place all the wood and yada 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 so anyways I'm gonna get up top of here and then take a thumbnail from the roof so thanks for all for watching guys <sighs> I hope you kind of enjoyed like I wish I could have recorded the rage but it was bad and it was very vulgar and I didn't want to I didn't want to bleep any of it out in all honesty, so thanks for all for watching. Leo one like equals one better villager trading center. For fudge sakes, I do not like this. This is so difficult. And anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.